name's Kurt, I'm 42 years old. Um, spent most of my life as an alcoholic. I, uh, I started drinking at the age of 10 to uh, pretty much be the adult that I was modeled as I was growing up. And uh, you know, I started taking care of my younger siblings at, at eight years old and I was forced to mature and, and act the adult already at, at, at that age. And uh, you know, uh, the only real role models I had were my parents because we lived in a community where we didn't know many people. And uh, you know, I I decided that that was the that was the lifestyle that you that you lived when uh, when you're an adult. And uh, you know, I was a full blown alcoholic by the time I was 12. And uh, things just escalated from there. When I was 13, my parents got divorced, and so the, the responsibilities were piled on even higher. And I, I rose to the challenge and still managed to maintain good grades in school. I still managed to take care of my brother and sister. I, I still, uh, I still uh, had after school activities. I played sports. I had, uh, I had a part time job. And I, I managed to do everything well, all the while being, unknown to most people, uh, a raging alcoholic. And uh, that carried on for many years. I found jobs where it was convenient and easy for me to obtain alcohol and, and live that lifestyle. I worked in bars, hotels, restaurants. Working at a restaurant, I, I met my wife. I was working for her father and we got married. She had two kids already and we, we had a couple more. And I don't think when we got married that she really understood or realized the depth of my addiction, uh, how bad it actually was. Uh, but within a couple of years, it was very, very clear to her how bad things actually were. At, and at, some, at, at one point, I decided that I needed to get help. And so I tried one program. I, I lasted the 28 days and I came home and within a week I was drunk again. A couple of years later, I tried another program and I dropped out after 28 days. It was a longer program. We had a house and within two years, I managed to get far enough into my addiction that I no longer really paid much attention to anyone except myself and I managed to lose almost everything that we had. Um, the, the bank repossessed the house. My life was a shambles, my family was a shambles and this was basically my last opportunity to put my life back together and try and try and make a life with the people that I love the most and they were the ones that I was hurting the most. I fell to my knees and I prayed for the first time in many, many years. And the only thing that I could think of was to go to Teen Challenge. With the support of my wife and my, my family and my church, who are still supporting me, and my employer, who held my job for me the whole time that I was here, but they showed me what I needed to see, that the things that I had done throughout my whole life were basically just running away bad vision, it was bad planning, it was, it was bad ideas. They showed me the way that I needed to take, that I needed to see, I needed to relearn how to see life, relearn how to make decisions. You do devotions every morning, you hear a lot about God from morning till night, and that's exactly what I needed. Teen Challenge didn't save my life. Jesus Christ saved my life. Teen Challenge is one of the greatest ministries that I know of to help people, to help addicts, to help people that, that can't see their way through life, that can't, that have no control over their own life. John 10, 10, for the thief comes to kill, steal and destroy, but I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. When I look behind me, there is nothing but destruction. And when I look ahead through Christ, there is nothing but life, light and love. Yeah,